Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another day and another video here from Bangkok. Uh, you can probably guess by just seeing the thumbnail which kind of camera I'm going to shoot today. And of course it's the OG Leica Q again, the original one from back in 2015. And on the Q here I have, uh, you can yeah, you can kind of see it, it's a filter. Guess what? It's a black promised one quarter. Uh, to get these uh, blooming diffused highlights, which looks pretty cool, I have to admit. And of course, I would slap on my tiny flash here and I will shoot it off camera. So that's the plan. So business as usual. All right, guys, I would say without further ado, as always, uh, like a queue, Bangkok, let's go. I started shooting around sunset, as you can see it's not quite dark yet. Yep, that was pretty much a dead end. That neighborhood was pretty empty, probably because it was a market area and the shops were already closed. But once in a while I came across a few people. Alright, so shooting here is uh, quite interesting. I mean, it's not much going on. Uh, it's very quiet in this neighborhood here, but it's very interesting. Look at me, the, all the lanterns there. It looks, uh, looks pretty dope, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool place. I wish there would be a few people <laughs> so I can take advantage of this uh, cool spot here, but nevertheless, uh, it's pretty incredible. So I think I've been here before. I th I'm not, yes, I think. Yeah, because it looks familiar. This lantern here um, looks familiar. So, All right, let's uh, try to find some people and maybe I'm, I get lucky and there will be somebody walking around here. Okay, somebody's walking behind me. Uh, let's see, maybe we can make something work here. The lanterns are pretty high up, so it's, it's a bit difficult. But I'll try to make it work. Oh, the flash did not fire, what the hell. Okay, there's a few people. Uh, the lanterns are too high up. Maybe on a day with people around or for a portrait session, that could be a great spot. Wow, these homes here are insane. Jesus. 
I fired the flash before taking the shot because I wanted to get the gentleman's attention and it worked out nicely. What is going on? Somebody working out. Let's see if that is a photo. Could be. Working out in front of the trash can. <laughs> I think it might have been better to stick around for a few more frames. Maybe she would have continued her workout without looking at the camera. Ah, this neighborhood is awesome. It's very quiet, but it's very local and it's very cool. I like it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I bumped into my POV camera without noticing it and that tilted the camera downwards. For now, it's a new perspective, but I fixed the problem a little later on. It almost looked <laughs> like a prison cell. <laughs> well, one advantage of this perspective is that in some of the shots you can easily see how I'm holding the flash. In this shot, I'm pointing the flash into the lid the guy is holding because I knew it would bounce the light up. Okay, I fired the flash into the metal to bounce it up and looks cool, yeah. Alright guys, uh, as soon as you get back to the, uh, the main strip, it's getting ridiculous. It's jam-packed with people, it's crazy, it's absolute carnage again. Like pretty much on every weekend it's crunch there. Yeah. All right guys, you're probably wondering about the settings that I'm using. Uh, it's almost the same like I usually do. Uh, I shoot mostly right now, I'm at uh, 1 30th, ISO 800, um, F8, and I use zone focusing. Most of it, most shots I take at 0.7 meters. So sometimes I go a little closer, maybe 0.5, sometimes a little further, but most of the time I shoot at 0.7 meters. Okay, uh, that's about the settings and oh, here on my flash uh, I'm at 1 8th power and I'm, ha I'm ha having this gel in front of the, uh, the flash which also cuts down the light so probably it's around 1 16th power uh, that comes out of, or that gets out here. It's, it's pretty low power setting. Alright guys, uh, let's continue shooting here in this absolutely madness. <laughs>
an old beetle, not something you see that often in Bangkok. In Mexico though, those are all over the place, but not so much here in Thailand. Guess what? I had finally figured out that the camera was pointing down and I brought it back up for your viewing pleasures. While walking around I noticed this small dog on the motorbike and that was a great opportunity to shoot some wildlife in this urban jungle. To get these great colors you see in the shots, I use my presets for Lightroom. You will find a link in the video description in case you're interested. And you can also check out my street photography zines. This helps out the channel and you'll get something nice in return. So uh, that's it for today, I think. Oh, it's today is absolute carnage. Or uh, I don't know what's going on, but it's uh, extra busy today. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Um, it's sometimes it can be good to shoot, but often it's uh, quite frustrating because you cannot get through. You see something cool, you can't get there because there's just people in the way. And today is one of those days. Nevertheless, uh, I hope you still like this episode. Um, if you do so, you know what to do: smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.